Yes! <laughs> Burn it all to the ground! Happy New Year, everyone! <gasps> oh, good morning, Lydia. <coughs> Lydia? Are you okay? What's wrong? Talk to me! <coughs> oh, God! Your voice? Where is it? Good morning! Albo, this is your fault! Oh, no! What have I done? Lydia doesn't have a voice! Oh, no! That's your problem! Oh, jeez! Can I fix it with legislation? No! It needs to be in the Constitution, Albo! Ah, I guess you're right. A referendum's only 75 million bucks anyway. Now, who's with me? Yes! No. I beg your pardon? Well, I'm just very concerned about this raging fire, Anthony. No, you're focusing on the wrong issue here, Pete. Lydia doesn't have a voice right now, so we need to give her a voice. Okay, okay, I'm on the fence. I would like to know more about this voice. What's it going to sound like? Tell me about the timbre. It doesn't matter. Well, it won't be slow or annoying, will it? It will be very nice to listen to. Well, I would very much like a pamphlet or something. Gah, oh, fine. <laughs> All right, I won something. But donations won't be tax deductible for anyone who campaigns against it. Damn. Foiled again. Don't worry, Albo. We can shut down any dissent for our plan by simply labelling anyone against us as racist and ignorant. Oh, you're a genius, Adam. No one can stop us now. Once we give Lydia a voice, all the problems in the world will be solved. And I'll be known as the nicest Prime Minister ever! Oh no! My fire! My fire's gone! What? She had a voice this whole time? I'm gonna burn this whole colonial system down! I'm oh, this isn't very nice to listen to at all. Anthony, I don't like this. This is not how it was pitched. Shut up, Dutton. It's beautiful. Anyway, I'm out of here. I've got more important things to do. Authorised by D. Huxham for Pauline Hanson's One Nation Brisbane. Hmm.